Hello everyone, today I'm going to use the Cromwell, and I found a bit of history on it, so I figured I'd share that with you. Now this info is coming from a site called War History Online. I'm not sure if that's the site, but that's a Facebook page. <clears throat> this article was put up uh, on November 14th of this year, 2016, and, and it starts as such. Perhaps the most balanced British tank to that came out of the Second World War, the Cromwell, named after the English Civil War leader Oliver Cromwell, offered reasonable armor protection, combined with enough firepower to take on its German counterparts. The main trait of this tank was its excellent V-12 Meteor petrol engine, produced by Rolls-Royce, which ran at 600 horsepower. As you can see in this game, they fucked up its 531 horsepower. <clears throat> it was capable of achieving a maximum speed of 40 kilometers an hour, or sorry, 40 miles per hour, or 64 kilometers an hour. They have that right. And thus belong to the cruiser tank category. Cromwell official, official markings being tank, cruiser, Mark 8, Cromwell uh, A27M. Was the direct successor of the Crusader tank produced early during the war. The tank saw its first action to, as a support tank for the British Marines that landed in Normandy in 1944. First talks of development date back to... 1940, with the prototype designs codenamed A23 and A24. The main problem for British tanks at the time was the cooling system. It caught the armored forces with, like an epidemic. The Crusader tanks tended to overheat and become useless, thus the tank board decided to split the Cromwell prototypes into three different projects in order to avoid investing too many resources in a potentially flawed design. The A24 Cromwell I, late, became known as the Cavalier. This tank was the closest to its predecessor, the Crusader. The second, A27L Cromwell II, became known as the Centaur, and the third, A27M Cromwell III, being the original Cromwell tank. Besides the Meteor engine, which was made compatible with the Liberty engine used by the Centaur, the tank was installed with the Merritt Brown gearbox. Sorry if I said that wrong. It's spelled M-E-R-R-I-T dash Brown. <clears throat> it utilized an Ordnance QF 75mm derived from previous versions which were mounted with a uh, QF6 pounder 57mm. This one has 57mm. This is the Cromwell 1. Um, where is it? Alright, depending on the variant, Cromwell's armor was between 3 and 4 inches thick, or 76mm to 100mm. The first trials in August September 1943 were co-named Exercise Dracula and held in Britain. Even though the Cromwell proved to be more reliable and generally superior to its older brother, the Centaur, the tank's performances were still lagging behind the American Sherman tank. Both the Cromwell and the Centaur experienced malfunctions and were sent for re-evaluation. When D-Day arrived, the British had to rely on, yet, on the yet untested tank, which was to be part of the 6th Airborne Division, 7th Armored Division, 11th Armored Division, Guards Armored Division, and 1st Polish Armored Division. The tank was, was also used by the 1st Czechoslovakian Independent Armored Brigade Group as part of the 1st Canadian Army in Dunkirk. Cromwell saw extensive combat in France, Germany, France and Germany, where it was able to tackle many German standard armored vehicles. Still, its 75mm gun lacked the ability of armor penetration against the German Tiger, a trait which made its 6-pounder predecessor famous. Improvements were made by the no oh, fuck sorry there's a photo on here that I just clicked on. Improvements were made by the end of the war by installing the improved 77 millimeter, but it barely saw any action. The Centaur was left almost entirely for training purposes, as it failed to overcome its design flaws. Cromwell, on the other hand, was praised for its speed, reliability, and extremely low profile, which made it hard to spot. After the war, Cromwell's provided to countries such as Australia, Austria, Burma. Cuba, Czechoslovakia, Air, Finland, France, Greece, Hong Kong, Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Portugal, South Africa, USSR, and Germany. Holy fuck, that's a lot of countries. Whew. It was retired in the British Army in 1955 and replaced the tank Cruiser Comet 1, the A-34. So now we have a bit of info on the tank. Why don't we get into battle and use it? This one here, I don't have many modifications on. Uh, let's see here. Modifications. As you can see, not much. 
But, let's get into it. <clears throat> As a backup vehicle, I've got, well, as you can see, the Valentine Mark 9, Typhoon Mark 1A, the 3 inch gun carrier, and the Bow Fighter Mark 5, or Mark 6C. This is Chroma 1. I believe this would be the Centaur version? I'd have to look again to see what it is. God damn it. <laughs> ah, this is the Cavalier. That's what this one is. Oh yeah, the armor on this, I, I forgot to check it, but I don't think any of it reaches up to 100 millimeters. Seriously? Do you not know what the fuck you're driving into here? I mean, I was kind of guilty in that too, but he was able to see me. I was not able to see him. Whoa! Friendly M4 is down. I see that. King Dicker Marks! Enemy forces have captured a zone. I really do hate that Dicker Max with a fucking passion. Alright, I'm gonna look at the armor. Maybe not be so angry because that fucking Dicker Max. And then I'm gonna try again. Here, 63, 57, 63. Yeah, they got the armor a little off because it doesn't anywhere have the 100 millimeters that they said it does. <clears throat> well, that the article said it does. Alright, let's go again. Alright, I'm not going to make you sit through this. I'm going to pause the video here, resume. Welcome back. Probably going to edit the second battle because that didn't last very long. Sound right now because somebody's in my neighbor's backyard with a flashlight. And I don't know if it's my neighbor or not. This battle's going to be on Carpathians. Okay, it is my neighbor. Hopefully it uh, lasts a little longer than that second battle, which you're probably not going to see. Because, again, Eastern Europe. 30 seconds. Gone. Got tag teamed by two studs. It was bullshit. Oh! Pay attention, you fucking Sherman! Beep, beep, you're going around. 
Yeah, I'm meant to be in the bed of an asshole. What? Not my fault my tank's faster. Come on! Choo choo! Fucking Shermans are slow! Really now? Really? You gonna do that bullshit? You can get it at. He moved. I was high again. He's a sitting duck. Just a little fire. Got him. First kill of the match is mine. Uh, that's why we're being arty. Shit, winter camo. <laughs> Somebody brought in winter camo. I'm gonna use this uh, wood here on my right to cover that flank. Left, I've got a Sherman here. Actually, he's helped me cap point. Oh, shit. Good shit. And that will be enough points spawning another vehicle. This thing does have a very slow reverse gear, but whatever. It serves its purpose. Right there. That's yes, a good hit. hit. Fucking space armor, man. Then there's all the smoke, which I cannot see through. Move, move, move. Ah, the fuck up. That's gotta be AI. Yeah, it was. <laughs>
pick up Valentine. It's new. I haven't used it very much. I still have to research parts on it. One battle and I got my engine shot out and I was a sitting duck for the entire game. Didn't die either. It was rather impressive. The German swarm destroyed my engine, but they could not destroy the tank. I may not have been able to move, but they could not beat me. That's for the Cromwell I've used in a fair bit. I like the Cromwell. Cromwell's a solid all-rounder. Granted, it's not completely accurate, but these guys didn't try it. They're a Russian company, they can't get everything 100%. Language barriers, shit like that. Russian tanks will be very easy for them to get pretty accurate. For the simple fact that, oh wait, they're a Russian company. So what people in this call a Russian bias is not what they think at all. I can guarantee it. There's something shooting up my ass. I have been spotted by an airplane. Someone's got an a Carmel loaded RP3 rocket. Also known as Carmel RP3. Now this tank is very slow due to, well, it being heavy as fuck and its engine only puts out like 146 horsepower. This tank weighs like 27 tons. Let's see, where are we on the team right now? That Cromwell we got in the third. Let's see if we can't do any better. Yeah, I was just fucking around with the camera button. You big hefty bitch. Holy crap, this thing's already very dirty. That was horse shit. That was complete and under utter bullshit. Alright, looks like we're taking out the Mark 5 or Mark 6C. Sometimes you just get games like this. This is my last step to gameplay, because this, this shit is retarded. Oh, that plane's down. Okay. Where is that fucking... Oh, we got a new plane right there. See him? Russian by the looks of it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he will outmaneuver the ever loving shit out of me. I'm not even gonna try that. Maybe he just so happens to come across the front of my plane, but otherwise, no. Rubble one's not what shot me down. The fact that I lost elevator controls due to a plane is what shot me down. 
Alright. I'll try again maybe some other time for some decent Cromwell gameplay, but tonight seems to be matchmaking is just an asshole. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.